Hey, 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 I'm on my way to rescue the children. The city park here's got a group of 150 or 200 kids scheduled for a, a field day, I guess. Or a uh, field trip, one or the other. These kids are supposed to be here pretty soon and they got a swarm of bees hanging about eight foot off the ground in a tree, according to them. So they need me to come get the bees to save the children. I don't see that the kids have shown up yet. And hopefully they won't before I get out of here, but if they do, I'll be a little more gentle with the bees than I normally am. I don't want to give a bunch of young'uns ideas and have them find a swarm somewhere and get hurt or uh, do something stupid wouldn't be stupid I guess it'd just be childish so here we are at the park gotta see if I can find these folks oh, I see somebody over here taking pictures that's gotta be where it's at Alright, we're at Gulfport City Park. We're gonna dump these bees into a nuke box. And I'm gonna lock them up so I put a little bit of honey in there for them to eat on. And I got Miss Isis that I just met that's gonna be helping me. Alright, they're about seven or eight foot off the ground in an oak tree. They're really docile, so I'm not going to wear any protection. I got all my protection right here. It's a barrier <laughs> around the tree. But this is where they're, this is the area where they lit. I don't know if this wind is making any noise in the microphone. But Right here at the beach, it's Miss Isis. It's a port over there. found the bees. You saw them yesterday, you said? Yes, sir. So they've been out here for a day. Alright, I shook out about half of them and the rest of them are starting to return to the limb, so I give them a little bit, another 15 or 20 minutes, and I'll shake some more out. Well, I just found where they swarmed from. out of the tree they swarmed out of. There's a whole bunch of drones on the ground here. 
Well, they already made it, so they're getting rid of the drones. the opening on the box and let them start going in. Or come out, whichever the case may be. Well, I thought I was going to let them in. They're, they're coming out there. Yeah, we'll see where they go. I might have to I might have to get them down out of the tree again. They're all in the air. Hi, sis. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, we got half on the box and half in the tree. I got to let them settle down and see what way they go. Thank Might have to shake them out again. Thank you. Wow. And what's that scent you put in that lemongrass? Lemongrass oil. Lemongrass oil. And, does the and I got some safety that? nut from the, there must be a city office over there. <laughs> Come over here wanting me to control my bees. Shake them one more time, and then we're gonna let these kids have the park. Shake them, whatever I get, I get. Alright, I spent a whole lot more time here than I needed to, and this is the last of what I shook out of the tree. I would have left them, but uh, it is a public park, and they've got a group of kids scheduled to be here, so I got all I could. There's still a bunch of them in the air, and this is that little head net that uh, Isis was wearing. So there's a bag of bees right there. There's probably a couple hundred in there. Animal control has been sitting there the whole time we've been here and I went and got her to let her know what we had done and she didn't know anything about it. She didn't know why we were over here or nothing. So they still have a beehive in that tree to deal with. There's still a small swarm around that little tree but I think I got the queen. And they're all starting to find this box in the back of my truck, which is amazing to me because the wind is just kicking out here. I'm surprised they could smell anything over here. Unless that's just ones that stuck to the box and and uh, 
or out zipping around my truck. Alright, I got the queen. They're not gathering back up on that limb like they were. And it's just in the nick of time. There's a whole bunch of kids headed this way. This is the end of my swarm capture. All the happy little children, safe and sound. There's still bees all in the air around these kids and they hadn't even noticed them. Totally unaware. My little mistake on this one was using a uh, nuke box instead of a full size box to try to shake them into. It wasn't wide enough so when I shook them out the first time about half the bees missed the box and of course I had already knocked a bunch of them off the limb so if I had used a regular size box and taken more time not to disturb them before I tried to shake them out I probably could have got them all in the first shake and wouldn't have had to spend an hour in the park today. The bees like to go up. I can turn the knit this way and they all go to the top that way. Or I can flip it over and they'll head to the top that way. I guess they think up is out. Alright, it's 10 o'clock at night, and nighttime is not the right time to mess with bees. So I'm backed up under the lights here at the house. I'm going to stick this half a frame of honey in with them because I don't have them, I didn't have time to take them to where I want to set them up today. So I'm going to leave them locked in the box all day tomorrow, and that honey I put in there with them today wasn't near enough to hold them over. And so I'll stick this frame of honey in with small frames stick them in the shade somewhere it's a screen bottom board on the box so that'd be fine as long as they can get some air in there I'll set it up off the ground with some bricks or something and then uh, tomorrow or next day whenever I get a chance I'll move them I'm gonna make this as quick as possible but since it's nighttime and I'm under lights and bees are drawn to light just like any other bug at night I'm going to stick this half a frame of honey in there for them and hopefully I don't have a problem with them coming out. I'll crack the lid and if they're all at the top I'll shake them down. No, we're good. I kind of wiggle the frames around so they'll get out from under the edges of them, but they still don't like to move sometimes, so I probably just squished a half a dozen of them. They're tougher than you think, though. If you set frames down on top of some and think you just squished them, pick the frames back up, they'll crawl away. This, is, this one's got some drawn out comb on it that they can start building on or laying in or whatever. Not too worried about smashing anything other than the queen. I have no clue where she's at. Wouldn't be hard to finish her off. It's a tight fitting box. 
There's one mad. I squished a few of them, so some of them are coming out angry. dump these out here and they'll crawl around to the bottom and get on the screen and they'll stay with the box as long as they can smell the queen in there. And that's it. And tomorrow, probably tomorrow afternoon sometime, I'll take them and set them up where I want them. It's the sun!